what I'm going to show you here is how to change the mechanism if you do have a problem with the clock. So in general, there it's quite easy to swap these mechanisms over. It's one little screw, then you slide this, it comes as a template, so it actually doesn't isn't tight, it slides out. This is the one that requires a little bit of pressure and usually just pops out. So what you need to do is loosen this nut. Now, uh, usually that won't be that easy. That easy, you will need uh, some sort of pliers. Um, just be careful not to scratch the face of the clock. If you do feel like you might be a bit um, worried about that, you can either go in a vertical rotation or you can put some paper down and that will, or some cardboard down. Uh, and that way when you are twisting it, you'll have to hold the cardboard and twist and that will take that off. So you'll have your first nut uh, and then your washer that comes off. There we go. It's important to keep these all in one spot so that you don't lose them. Oh, you'll keep them in the shot so you can actually see it. But there we go. Because you will need those again. And we'll just put the mechanism over here. And we'll flip this over. So here's the mechanism. Now if this is a fault, if this is a faulty mechanism and you do break it coming out, then not to worry as you will be getting a replacement. What I tend to do is just put my fingers underneath it and ever so slightly take it off. Now if you can keep the sticky part on there, that would be great because you can reuse it. Sometimes it gets stuck onto the clock side. So what you can do there is not to worry. Uh, it does come, the replacement does come with a, a rubber section just around here, which means you will be able to um, uh, put that on there and uh, it will grip the clock. It's just really so it doesn't swivel as it's on there. So now we'll grab the uh, replacement and we stick it back on there. And what you want to do is point. The battery generally is on the lower part of the clock uh, and then you align it up with the 12, flip it around, and you basically do the opposite. So you'll put in your hour hand first. Oh, sorry, what am I saying? You need to put your washer in first, then your nut, then your hour hand, then your hour hand, pointing up, and your minute hand. And I always like to set it at 12 o'clock. That will mean that your time is set. And then you always use the cog on the back of the clock to set your time. What's important to know here is that if you are putting these on for the first time uh, and they haven't been adjusted, the arms may cross over. These are not crossing over. Um, but if it does, this is made of aluminium. Aluminium is very flexible. It will not break. I'm going to show you with this as an example how flexible it is. So I can flex these quite a lot. Now obviously you do not want that, want that sort of bend on your clock, but it just gives you an example. It is a little tricky if you do bend it that far to bend it back, but with a little bit of patience you can do it. If you go as far as creasing it, you will never get that back because that crease is basically severing the metal. And if you do it long enough, it will come off. So a bend is absolutely fine. You can bend it as much as you like. If you start creasing it, you will have problems. Hope we've learned something there and uh, it helps you putting your clock together if you have to swap a mechanism over. Thank you so much.